I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadratic functions. We are going to model a situation and then find the solution. The question here is a 60 meter by 40 meter factory is built with a lawn of uniform width that surrounds it. How wide is the strip of the lawn if the area of the lawn and the factory is equal? You can always pause the video, copy the question, solve, and then look into my suggestions. So let me begin with a small sketch here. So let's say that is the total area in which we have lawn on the four sides and factory right in the center, right? Something like this. Okay. So what we are given here is that the 60 by 40 meter factory that means this length is 60 and the width is 40 is surrounded by a lawn of uniform width so we can assume the width to be of x units so in that case the length will be 60 plus 2x and the width will be 40 plus 2x okay so that becomes the length and the width for our plot. Now we are also given that the area of the lawn and area of the plot is same. Correct? So when we say that is built with a lawn of uniform width, so that is of x units, it surrounds how wide is the strip of the lawn? That means we have to find x if area of the lawn and factory is equal. So what is the area of the lawn? So area of lawn is outside area minus inside area. That is to say 60 plus 2x times 40 plus 2x minus 60 times 40. Right, so that gives you area of lawn. And what is the area of the factory? So area of factory is inside area, which is 60 times 40, correct? So that is the area of the factory. Let's say we call this as capital L, and let's, let me call this as capital F. Now the condition given to us is that these two areas are equal. So we are also given the condition that L is equal to F. So equating these two equations, we could actually solve. So if both the areas are same, in that case, we get our quadratic equation 60 plus 2x times 40 plus 2x minus 60 times 40, let me write this as 2400. That should be equal to the area of the factory, which is also 2400, correct? Now we can expand this, bring it to the left side and solve. So 60 times 40 is 2400. 60 times 2x is 12, 120x. Then to multiplying by 2, we get 80x plus 4x squared and here we have minus 2400 I will bring this 2400 also to the left side equals to 0. Now from here we could simplify this 2400 cancels with one of these 10 2400s. Take writing 4x squared first we get 4x squared combining these two terms we get 120 plus 80 is 200x and minus 2400 equals to 0. 4 can be factored out. So we get x squared plus uh, 50 times x minus 6 goes, right? 600 equals to 0. So we could factor this. We need 600 and 50 there. 60 times 10. So that's kind of simpler. So we have x uh, bigger number has to be positive so 60 times x minus 10 equals to 0. Now for that to be 0 x should be equal to either minus 60 
or x equals to 10. Now clearly this minus 60 is not possible. So and this is okay. So x equals to 10 gives us the result for the con condition, right? So we can now write down that the width of the strip should be 10 meters, right? So our answer is width equals to 10 meters. Perfect. So that is how such questions can be solved very easily. I hope all the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. So we'll take up more examples on this quadratic model. So I'm providing you with a link. You can always follow it and check other examples. Thanks for watching and all the best.